welcome to this video uh, in this video okay in this video i will actually demonstrate how to install mysql query browser and mysql workbench in a previous video uh, i demonstrated how to install mysql database management system dbms now i will just uh, query browser it's a graphical tool for managing mysql database uh, when you are implementing the your database concept this is a graphical tools to implement it easily mysql dbms by default will come with a command prompt interface uh, command line interface you can create a database using all those SQLs and everything and the backup register everything what about the SQL and PL SQL everything you can you can do there but query browser it will just uh, facilitate it's a graphical interface to facilitate and uh, to make it easier to interact with MySQL workbench actually is the uh, most recent version most recent improvement over query browser and it has some more modeling and reverse engineering uh, and many different uh, improvements so this is the software that I downloaded before this is for the MySQL DBMS database management systems and this is the query browser and this is the workbench now this one it can be a different graphical user interface tools for mysql or it can be related to some of this i actually have to see what it is yeah there is a good possibility it is just uh, to provide some of the functionality for uh, the other components that it can be completely different i believe it's part of other other thing or to add some features to this or the, that anyway query browser so in installation it's a job for the kids nothing to be too proud of of this skill that you can install mysql query browser anyway Okay, my SQL query browser it has installed. Let's say my SQL command line, my SQL server instance. MySQL query browser server connection This is actually the first time I'm trying to uh, connect to MySQL DBMS, but also first time with the first time means after installing, I had done it hundreds of times in different jobs and personally hundreds or thousand times. That's a different case. So what it is doing actually? local host so okay, that 
to just do a configuration. I did not uh, give the name of a schema to connect to. I think the database to connect to, but they are recommending. Yeah, in general, that's a good practice for sure. And connecting as a root, that is a bad practice. So you should not uh, connect as a root. You should create a user and then go. Let's see. So this is the test database. Drop schema, copy SQL to clipboard, create new schema, new database, new table, new view, new procedure, refresh. So you can see the inline help is there. So alter database, alter table, create database, and describe city. use and database and this is data manipulation language in dml not that knowing this is a must but better you might be asked in the interviews though a silly question data definition ddl data definition language describe to See the definition for a table. I think if you have multiple database, use DB1, use DB2. Drop user syntax, lock, unlock, and all those things. So you can use uh, create table using this uh, graphical user interface column name data type and all those things so to execute a query you can select all from x y z a syntax error but you can see the notification is coming here table test xyz doesn't exist yeah, I might create a different video to demonstrate all the different features of my SQL query browser this video was mostly for installing my SQL query browser